Hi everyone, here is a short video on how to update the firmware of the RCD 330 plus 340 360 series of infotainment units. It's a fairly simple process, but it is important to download the right update for the right device. You may be aware that there are different OEMs making this device, uh, Visteon, Desai, No Name, etc. And then you have the last four letters of the part number ranging from 187, 187, A, B, D, E, F, etc. and so forth. So please check the sticker on your unit before you hit that download button. You do not want to end up with a brick at the end of this. Now what you need to do is head to the Reddit subforum RCD330 and click on the firmware link. Check the right model among the options listed here and uh, download the firmware. I have a 187B no name unit so I'll little be somewhere here yeah 5532 now for this demo i'd be downloading the 5532 version there are two more updates over this uh, the 5536 and the 5614 but since i do not use a wireless carplay dongle i am okay with this version now click the download link Once the file is downloaded, copy it to a FAT32 formatted USB drive. Once that's done, let's head to the car. So we are in the car and uh, I have the pen drive with me. What you need to do is plug in the pen drive. If you go to the set tab and browse down to the system information, the software reads 5522. Okay, now what we'll do is hold the setup button for about uh, five seconds. Click on the software update versions, update software. Click on this file. Guys, this is going to be a slightly, you know, time taking process. So give it some time and patience. And do not attempt to turn on the engine or play with the ignition whatsoever. Just let it complete the process. I mean, don't panic when the percentage bar does not increase like uh, you know progressively it'll jump from 10 to 40 all of a sudden for all you know so you need to have patience see what i meant click on ok and the system will reboot Now let's check the status of the update. It should say 5532 right here. So this is done. And do not try updating the software from this. It's not going to work. You'll have to long press the setup button and do it. So that was a fairly easy process, but you've got to give it some time and patience. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you.